focus. It's Monday today and uh, it's been two vlogs in three days and waking up on a Monday and thinking like what to do today. So I decided to show you guys how I prepare for the whole week. But that hair is so much better. Yeah, I guess I'm going to start to show you guys my breakfast. So here we go. that Mondays are so important it is because it kind of set a mood for the rest of the week so you get prepared on Mondays and the rest of the week will go smoothly as you know I'm in Gramosen and I'm going to show you guys how I mount my bindings and what the different parts of a binding does to a ski jumper in the air and explain what it does. Let's try to get more knowledge of ski jumping in this vlog so you can get to know my sport and to understand more of what we do. The first thing you need to do is mount this front binding and uh, you need to calculate where the front binding is going to sit. So it's 57% of the ski length and since I have two 54 centimeters skis I get to have 145 centimeters of front skis. So that's quite important because if you have more front skis you get more front ski to lift you up. So it's quite important and you gotta find the exact spot where the front binding is going because if you have too much front skis you will be disqualified. So let's mount the front binding. And the next thing is this one. And this one is going to make the shoe tip a little bit forward and the reason for that is when we are accelerating in the in run position we are getting so much air resistance so now I have attached the front binding and the middle binding and the last part is quite important one because this one is the new one I'm going to try and you have a couple of different options when it comes to the last part because the last part is making the ski so it's kind of stopping your skis up to your body and it's many different options to do that now almost everything is mounted I only need this grip in the front binding to get better grip for the shoe and safety strap the safety strap is really important because if this one is going out from the shoe you kind of take a flip. So the safety strap is really important because it's it's a safety support that if it falls out you are safe and secure and can land and that's the most important thing if it happens. So mounting the two last things the grip tape and the safety strap and then I'm ready to go. And that's how I mount the bindings of my skis and the special equipment we have and hopefully you learned a little bit of uh, how important the uh, security and the equipment is for ski jumping. And now I'm going to a meeting uh, with my coach and my team and then we're having a training and uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So everything you have been watching until now was last Monday, 8 days ago. It's Tuesday today and I'm back to mount a new binding. 
Yeah, the weather is not good, but it's not any, it's not any wind, and uh, getting wet isn't isn't really a problem. It's just it's just a mess to jump in. But yeah, attaching the binding and warm up, and then we're jumping again. And hopefully, I get someone to to record my jumps. And if I do, let's check them out. Obviously saw that was not me jumping, it was the national team of Germany and they will be here a couple more days and um, yeah it was really nice to see them and talk to them again and uh, if you do have any questions for them I can ask them tomorrow or um, on Thursday uh, so comment below and um, if you have any questions and uh, I'll try to ask, uh, ask them. Andreas Wellinger, Marcus Eisenbichle, Stefan Leia, it's, um, it's a national A team which uh, are here so yeah, really nice and cool to see them again. And uh, now I'm going to open some uh, mail I got from you guys. So I'm really excited to see what you have sent me. So we're going to open a few letters from you guys. And the first one is from Anita from Slovenia. It's a really long letter. Um, so thank you for that. I will read it later. So, And the next one is uh, Majernik from Hungary. And a couple of pages with uh, handwritten text so thank you very much I feel so lucky to have such good fans that are sending me this stuff so the last one is from Germany it's chocolate and uh, I love chocolate so thank you for that and with a postcard it's a small pin attached so I will read a postcard afterwards so thank you everyone for sending me letters and I really appreciate it it's so fun and I love surprises so find my address on my Facebook page so I'm not sure if anyone wants to send me even more but I'm, I'm really appreciating the fans who are sending this so uh, thank you for making my day better and uh, yeah I guess I will end this vlog by this and uh, I guess I see you soon